Folks, g'day. Grifters. Good word. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it means a person who engages in petty or small-scale swindling. It's a word I've used a few times on this channel, but it's been given a big push recently by American broadcaster Bill Simmons. It's made more than a few worldwide headlines. For those not in the know, Bill Simmons is a big name in the podcasting world, an innovator who cottoned onto it well before it became what it is today. He has a highly successful show, multiple actually, about sports and pop culture. He's also an executive at Spotify, which brings us to Harry and Meghan. Last week, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had their highly lucrative deal with Spotify torn up. According to reports, folks at Spotify weren't at all happy with the pair's contribution to the platform, which reportedly cost about 20 million US dollars and amounted to a grand total of 12 episodes. You do the math and tell me whether you think that was a good deal or not. Anybody else, anywhere else, could have made something more entertaining than gems such as this. That citizenship exam is so hard. I was studying for it and I remember going, oh my goodness, I would ask my husband, did you know this? Did you know this? And people went, oh, I had no idea. I think they made it harder for you. You think? Yeah, they were like, <laughs> we're going to really <laughs> throw up walls on this one. <laughs> so with that riveting stuff in mind, let's bring it to the present. In a shared statement last week, Spotify and Archwell, Harry and Meghan's company, said... We are proud of the series that we made together. Well, Bill Simmons had a bit more to say. Just I wish I had been involved in the Meghan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation. <laughs> the fucking grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try to help him with a podcast idea. Do it. It's one of my best stories. Now, there's no trademark around the word, but I think Bill must have been listening to this channel because that was our summary about eight months ago. Had he been listening, we could have saved Spotify a ton. Anyway, Bill, I do hope you get drunk and share that story. The couple has irked Bill before. He had a few truth bombs to share back in January. Let's call it Bill's truth. It's Prince Harry. Oh, yeah. Shoot this guy to the sun. I'm so tired of this guy. <laughs> what, what does he bring to the table? He just whines about <laughs> like keeps giving interviews. Who gives a <laughs> Who cares about your life? You weren't even like the favorite son. The other guy was the king. You're like the fucking Fredo. Fuck Our you. wives care. Our wives care about him. They That's don't even cares. care. Does your wife care about Prince Harry? Uh, Nobody uh, cares about uh, this. Yeah. Eight episode Netflix show. What did they? What did we find out? Yeah. I'm so embarrassed that I fucking have to share Spotify with him. The guy sucks. It would be the what first productive thing he did. What's your talent? Why are we yeah. listening to you? So you were born in a royal family and then you left. What, what are you good at? Yeah, he didn't do anything there. And now he's going to come here and do nothing. You live in to fucking Montecito up. and you just yeah. like, you sell documentaries and podcasts and nobody cares what you have to say about anything unless you talk I about the royal this. family. You just complain about him. He's got a <laughs> book. What do you write a book about? <laughs> love this. Yeah, honestly, he's the worst. Bill's right. And I've said here before that Harry's book was atrocious and he's just, well, boring. And I'm still stuck on the whole hanging your brother out to dry thing. But if he's happy making his money, trashing his family and being able to deal with his own conscience, then good luck to him. Sounds like a swell guy. Broken deals or not, they still made a lot of money out of it, so they are laughing to the bank. But for how long? Reports out of Britain on the weekend suggest the Netflix partnership might be on the ropes. It's worth a staggering $150 million, according to reports. And it did have an early hit, but the Sun on Sunday reckons the lemon has been fully squeezed. Cue the rebrand. Thanks for watching, folks. To support this channel, please like, share, and subscribe below, and I'll see you next week.